Fantasy. This is my channel, The Fancy Hat Lady Reads. I am wearing one of my fancy booktube hats, and as you can tell, I am in a new place. This is my new apartment. I have set up a new booktube nook exactly how I want it. I'm very excited about all of this. I am still tweaking a bunch of stuff in terms of camera angles, lighting, all of this, um, but this is, this is basically my new setup. Um, and this is my first video testing it out. I am filming a very simple video today. It's a TBR because really I do want to just test out the new setup and see how it works. I have this new armchair. I can like lean back and relax. I'm very excited about that. And today's TBR that I am filming is for the upcoming round of the Translatathon hosted by Rea from the Book Finch. This readathon is happening from June 14th through 27th, and I will link the announcement video so that you can check it out and maybe join in if you're so inclined. I have had a very, very bad track record with readathons in like the past couple years or so. The last readathon I tried to participate in, I filmed a TBR, never edited or uploaded the TBR, and then still tried to do the readathon and failed miserably at the readathon. You didn't hear a thing about it because I never uploaded that TBR. So this readathon, I am purposefully setting myself the easiest possible TBR I possibly can. The basic goal of Translatathon is to read works in translation, in whatever language you read translated from some other language. And if you do that, you win good. Um, there are some other challenges, though, if you want. I'm going to try some of them, but not all. So the second challenge after read translated books is read a book that has more than one translation to the same language. So for this, I am totally cheating and I'm going to read a short story, not a whole book. I hope I get extra bonus points, though, for choosing something that I literally have two different translations of in two different collections. Um, so I have two story collections of stories by E.T.A. Hoffman. The only Hoffman story that I've read before is The Nutcracker, um, and I really want to read more of his work. The two collections I have are The Golden Pot and Other Tales which is an Oxford World's Classics edition, and then the other one is Tales of Hoffman, which is a Penguin Classics edition. And between these two, I believe there is one story that is in both, and that one story is The Sandman, which I, I guess is probably Hoffman's most well-known story alongside the Nutcracker and the Mouse King. So I'm not sure which of these two translations of it I'm going to read. This one is a translation by Richie Robertson, and this one doesn't credit the translator on the front, so I have to go digging. Uh, selected and translated with an introduction by R.J. Hollingdale. These are uh, of course, translated from German. Anyways, this is part of my ongoing attempt to better understand the history of the fantasy genre. I think I'll decide which of the two versions I want to read based on uh, which of the collections I have more of an interest in reading, or I might like sample the translations and see which one I jive with better. And then the third challenge is to read a book with a green cover, which you would think would be difficult given what a small percentage of the books on my TBR are works in translation, but I actually had two to choose from. And one of them is the book that I sort of most wanted to read for this round of the readathon, the translated work on my TBR that I am most itching to pick up. So this was what pushed me over the edge and said, yes, I will do this round of the Translatathon. And that is The Beast Player by Nahoko Uehashi, which is a young adult novel translated from Japanese. My understanding is that this series is divided into four books in the original Japanese and that it's a duology in English, so each of the books is essentially a bind-up of two of the original Japanese novels. They are both out now in English editions, so if I like this one I'll be able to get the second one. And this 
is translated by Kathy Hirano. Challenge number four is to read a nonfiction book, and do you want to put me back into my months-long reading slump? No, the answer is no, I'm not doing that one. And then five is to read a book from your favorite genre. My favorite genre is fantasy, so both of these count. Anyhow, that's my TBR for the Translate-a-thon. I hope to be bringing you longer and more substantive content from the new location sometime soon. In the meantime, I hope this has proved to you that I am still alive and kicking and that I will continue to make booktube content in my new apartment. I am, for anyone who doesn't know, still in the same building I was in before, but several floors up in an apartment that suits my current needs better than the old one. It's very fun. Anyhow, let me know if you're planning on participating in the Translate-a-thon, if you've read either of these books or, or this, this book or this short story. Uh, let me know what you think. Anyhow, I hope you're having a nice day. That is all. Bye for now.